Hello everyone, Lead here. So in this video, I will test low budget scrap farms on T17 and I will test two setup, 50 map for each of them. So let's begin with the setup. For the map, I'm using Fortress and the reason for it is number one, the boss is the easiest. So the extra fragment from the boss can be extra profit. And the second reason is in Fortress, there's a lot of barrels which you can destroy and it can drop currency or skirts. But if you want to do other maps, I think that's fine. The difference I don't think will be that big. And for the map itself, chisel 20% with normal chisel. And I will roll until I have 100% more scarabs. And for the mod, just filter whatever mod you cannot do. And if your build is strong enough, you can actually add one daily orbs that will add extra density and a little bit extra quantity. And for the scarabs, for this first setup, I will use two scrap adversary that will add four rare monster packs. Because it's mirror, it become eight. And because we're using two, we have 16 additional rare. And the next one, I will use Scarab of Nemesis. This will add extra modifier to the rare monsters and make them drop more loot. In this case, hopefully more Scarabs. And for the last two Scarabs, I will use two Scarabs of Divinity. This will make some of the rare monsters have the God Touch modifier, something like Pantheon Touch, Lunaris Touch, and so on and so forth. Usually a rare monster with this uh, modifier, they drop quite a lot of loot. And for the second setup, I will use two Scarab of Adversary and one Scarab of Nemesis. But for the last two Scarab, I will use Scarab of Whips. And Scarab of Whips will give a monster a chance to have uh, Whips on them. So it's basically an affliction Whips. And for the Atlas tree, this is the Atlas tree I'm going to use. Uh, both of the setup will use the same Atlas tree because I don't think it's making any difference. So the scrap tree is pretty straightforward. Uh, we are farming scrap, so we're going to block all other mechanics except for ultimatum and harvest because both of these scrap is still pretty expensive. And we take all the scrap's notes and also I'm taking beyond. This is because on the map device we're going to choose beyond. And beyond is just to add extra density, that's it. Blue authors, uh, because my build it can run blue authors better. If you cannot run blue authors, you can run red authors. I don't think that makes that much different either. And also all every modifier notes, uh, there's basically mandatory for T17. So I think that's all about the Atlas tree. It's pretty straightforward. And with that said, let's move into the spreadsheet. And this is a spreadsheet. This one is for the Divinity, and this one is for the whips. And for the cost, whips apparently cost a little bit more. <laughs> I think it's two scales each, and Divinity is like under the 1C. So it's a little bit more expensive for, for whips, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's around 0 0.95 per maps. So not exactly low budget, but for T17, I think this is the lowest you can go. And most of the cost will come from the map itself and also the rolling of the map. And for rolling of the map, I'm not putting it here just because it really depending on your build and how tolerance you with a certain mod. So there's no way for me to average this for you. So you have to take into account yourself how much, uh, how much average chaos you use to roll the maps. And for the Loot itself, this is the breakdown of the loot. We got quite a lot of uh, public gum currency, like Divine. The Wits gives a lot more currency. So we get 10 Divine here, 17 X all over here, 3 X2 annulments, and we also get a lot more Chaos Orbs. But for the Fragment, I get a lot less Fragment on the Wits, and this is because Wits will also affect your map boss. And sometimes it will make them really, really tanky. So so I do skip some of the bosses. Uh, but I think this is a problem with my build, because my build is RF, and I don't have like you know, 1 billion DPS, something like that. So so I just decided to skip some of the boss, and this is the reason why I get a little bit less fragment. And for the scarab itself, uh, you can see we get a bunch of scarabs. Um, this one is a little bit crazy. Maybe 14 containment for 50 maps, it's probably above average. Uh, but this one I get 9 um, for catalyzing. So we get a lot of scarabs. The total scarabs over here, uh, the efforts actually give more scarabs. So, in terms of the pure scarabs, uh, the FSC is probably a better choice, but because the Wiz also give a bunch of currency, uh, it end up giving us more profit. So for the profit per map, it's like two defined per maps, and I think this is a really, really good number. And the scarab per map, this one is 93, and this one is 83, which is pretty good. And I'm also uh, including uh, a section over here, which basically this is if you do not want to kill all the bosses. And this calculation of profit will not include the boss profits. And uh, the adversary profit is a little bit lower. 
1.70 defined and the uh, width is 1.9 defined. So basically the adversary is easier, uh, but it's also get less profit, but the width is more difficult. It's also keep more profit. And I think the width is also taking a little bit longer because sometimes the width makes the monster really, really tanky, especially the map bosses or like the rare with a lot of modifier because I'm using Nemesis. Even though I'm using Headhunter, sometimes with the width, uh, some rare monster can be very, very tanky. So it's end up making the maps uh, a little bit longer. So for me, it's like give and take on both of them. Personally, I like the FS3 more because this is a lot easier to do and the map is also a lot faster. Uh, you get more scarabs, you get more chances to get like a uh, very good scarabs. And for the gold itself, it's around 70, it's around 70k per maps. Um, I, this one is below 70k, but I think this is probably I'm not picking some gold up, something like that. Uh, both of them feel very, pretty similar in terms of gold, in terms of gold. So I think in D17 the gold is around the same, around 70, 80k, something like that. So this is for low budget. I think this is pretty good. I have another one which is strong boxes, but I will probably do another video for that one, uh, which is basically like uh, only for the strong boxes, something like in the mid budget and uh, high budget will use in containment, something like that. I think there's a lot of people already made video about that one, so I'm curious to see what the actual number is. So yeah, I think that's it for this video. And if you like the video or this video is helpful, uh, consider like and subscribe. That will help the channel a lot. So thank you everyone for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one.